Hi everyone, I'd like to welcome you to the 2020 Johnson County 4-H Horse and Pony Hoofprints Year-End Banquet. 2020 certainly has been a different year full of ups and downs. However, our 4-H program remained committed to giving our members the best experience possible. This banquet will serve as the recognition of all of their accomplishments this year. We hope you take some time to celebrate their accomplishments, set goals for next year, and thank everyone involved with the 4-H program. We hope you enjoy the banquet. And don't forget to come Sunday, October 25th to the fairgrounds from 3 to 5 p.m. to pick up all of the awards that will be featured in this video. We would like to thank all of our leaders that help out each year, especially this year because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have got to have the fair that we did with everything that's going on. We would like to thank Stephanie Dunn, Melissa Wienenheismer, Barbara West, Peggy Nail, Becky Dixon, Elizabeth Acker, Jennifer Armstrong, Art West, Natalie Russell, Amber Wolf, and our coaches Peggy Elliott and Dan Dana Taylor. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about the officer team. Um, first things first, I want to say that the officer team this year that I worked with was an amazing team. We all, they all work together so great. They all have such positive attitudes and they approach things well. They just were overall, I think this year's officer team was a great team and I really hope that next year's team will be as great and continue on from there. Um, to list off the officers for this year, I have a list right here. Um, first things first, our president was Autumn Justice. Our vice president was myself, Lizzie Elliott. The secretary was Kyla Lasley. Treasurer, Desiree Freeman. Historian, Zoe Hawkins. Health and Safety, Emma DeJong. Community Service, Abby Wolf. Recreation, Xander Elliott and Callie Lard. And the ambassador was Becca Legan. I would like to say thank you to all of the parents that help out with the 4-H Fair. All of you and the staff help make this possible. I would like to recognize Julie Barnes, Elizabeth Gallahan, Peggy and Brian Elliott, Dana Taylor, Sean Hawkins, Alexis Mackay, Samantha Gross, and Beth Almond for making this year possible and the best that it can under the circumstances. Thank you guys. Our first year members that will be receiving the first year pins are Nora Flanagan, Kinsley Ricketts, Sienna White, Emma Lewis, Sienna Shaw, Addison Scheifeling, Emmett Bosgard, Christina Howell, Brooke Sester, Lydia Bollinger, Lexi Martin, Kira Stafford, Keelan Stafford, Jordan Tulahoski, Kira Bonnie, Ava Walton, Natalie Kaur, Ella Tyson, Holly Siletto, Abby Dean, Casey Smith, Cheyenne Freeman. Your two members are Jonathan Gallohan, Atticus Decker, Ellie Dyinger, Emily Fuller, Ellie Johnson, Emerson Kirkendale, Lauren Lewis, Owen Shacklinger Getter, Shackling Getter. James Sabri, Morgan Wilkerson. Our year three members are Emma Richardson, Callie Lard, Rebecca Dillon, Alexander Elliott, Sierra Marr, Blake Legan, Madeline Armstrong, Addison Korn, Keelan Gross, Sammy Harder, Naomi Himes, Keelan Kelly, Audrey O'Brien, Libby Reibolt, and Marina Salzar. I would like to say congratulations to all of our members and all their years in 4-H. Our four-year members are Taylor Barnett, Lorelai Bosgard, Sophia Bunton, John Cave, Autumn Justice, Tessalina McElroy, Mary Parrish, and Veronica Salazar. 
Our five-year members are Rebecca Legan and myself, Desiree Freeman. Our six-year members are Emma Gunn, Elise Armstrong, Emma Cook, Emma DeJong, Kylie Driscoll, Elia, Eliza Sutton Kennel, and Abigail Wolf. Sorry if I said any of your names wrong. And again, congratulations. Hello. I have been given a list of names of the members who have completed this year's 4-H, and I will be listing them off. Um, for the seventh year is Elizabeth Elliott, Madison Kane, Dylan Day, Zoe Hawkins, Desiree McCabe, Samuel Strauss, Bobby Settles, Aaron Tribeck, and Wyatt Fulkerson. For the eighth year completions is Emily Bryant, J.C. Cohen, Brianna Cox, Emma Foley, Ma Mason Giddens, Kaya Ladley, Clay Stig Stigall. I apologize in advance if I have uh, butchered your names or will. For our ninth year completions is Morgan Wade, Caitlin Barnett, Mackenzie Do Daughtery, Morgan Hart, Dustin Parr, Isabel Wolf, Jasmine Shainer. For our tenth year, we have Amanda B Amanda Balhunka and Scott Sledge. So I will be discussing the fun racing recognition. Um, first of all. Thank you to everyone who participated in selling flowers. Um, it was a great help to this club and to everyone in it. Um, I have a list right here of the uh, third, second, and first place winners. I'm pretty sure these winners have already received their uh, cash at the fair. Um, so third place is Ballier Smith. I apologize if I uh, butcher your name. Second place is Wyatt Fulkerson. First place is Autumn Justice. Congratulations, you three. We'd like to celebrate our last year and 10 year 4-H members. Thank you for the dedication that you have given to our program. We certainly will miss you next year. All of these members received their certificates at the fair, but we'd like to take a little time to thank them and recognize them once again. Our last year members in 2020 were Desiree McCabe, Emma Taylor, Emma Cook, Riley Giedel, Sammy Harder, and Autumn Justice. Also this year, we had two 10-year 4-H members. 10 years is a long time to do anything, and we certainly appreciate your efforts and the contributions that you have made to our club. Congratulations to this year's 10-year members, Amanda Blahunka and Scott Sledge. I'd like to start off by saying, Color Guard is one of the best group of friends you will ever have. As one of the members, I would like to say you should join. You'll have friends forever. I have shared many laughs, ups and downs with them, such as our five minute routine learned seconds before we went into the arena. I'm grateful to have found great friends such as Desi McCabe, Zoe Hawkins, Lizzie Elliott, Autumn Justice, and myself. We will miss you seniors and it will not be the same group without you. We have three leaders that represent the Horse and Pony Club on the fair board, and we would like to say a special thanks for them for representing our club. Those three leaders are Becky Dixon, Art West, and Elizabeth Acker. Thank you, guys. At this time, we would like to recognize those members that participated in horse bowl, horse judging, and hippology. These members started practicing in November and December all the way through the contest. Normally the contest is in March and unfortunately due to COVID this year it was pushed back, but they were still able to compete online in the contest this summer. They did a great job representing Johnson County and we can't wait to see how well they do in 2021. Our junior horseball members this year were Cheyenne Freeman, Rebecca Dillon, Kira Stoffer, and Keelan Stoffer. Our intermediate horse bowl team members were Abby Wolf, Emma Gunn, Rebecca Legan, Desiree Freeman, and Amelia Tabor. 
Our junior hipology team consisted of Cheyenne Freeman, Rebecca Dillon, Kira Stoffer, and Keelan Stoffer. Our intermediate hipology team was Abby Wolf, Emma Gunn, Becca Legan, Desiree Freeman, and Amelia Tabor. Our senior hipology member was Lizzie Elliott, and our judging team members were Lizzie Elliott, Madeline Armstrong, and Elise Armstrong. Once again, congratulations on a great state contest, and we can't wait to see how you do in 2021. At this time, we'd like to recognize this year's incentive point winners. In case you are unsure what the incentive point system is, I'd like to take a second and explain it a little bit. The incentive point program is open to all of our 4-H members. To be eligible for the point system, you have to have at least 100 points, attend two meetings, and complete your project by turning in your record sheet. Every activity that you attend or participate in earns you points. This includes things like meetings, clinics, fundraisers, community service activities, and other 4-H projects. For a full list of incentive point categories, make sure you check out our handbook. This year, our members receiving 100 to 199 points are Ella Tyson, Emily Fuller, J.C. Cohen, Mariana Salazar, Ashlyn Barnes, Corbin Wolf, Lauren Barnes, Christina Hallowell, Madison Kane, Tessalina McElroy, Taylor Barnett, Libby Reibolt, Morgan Hart, and Blake Legan. Congratulations. Our members in the 200 to 299 point category this year are Bailey Smith, Xander Elliott, Emma DeJong, Kaylin Gross, and Scott Sledge. Congratulations! Our members in the 300 to 399 point category this year are Elise Armstrong, Callie Laird, and Rebecca Dillon. Congratulations. This year, our members in the 400 to 499 point category are Kira Bonney, Madeline Armstrong, Becca Legan, Zoe Hawkins, Addison Korn, Autumn Justice, Alexis Ford, Emerson Kirkendall, and Casey Smith. Congratulations! This year, our members in the 500 to 599 point category are Caitlin Ford, Emma Richardson, Emmett Bosgard, Addison Schiefling, Lizzie Elliott, and Lydia Bowlinger. Congrats! This year, our members in the 600 to 699 point category are Sienna Shaw, Desiree McCabe, and Lexi Martin. Congrats, girls! This year, our members in the 700 to 799 point category are Lorelai Bosgard and Kaya Lasley. A special shout out to Kaya Lasley as she is this year's 
High Point Senior in the Incentive Point Program. Congrats, Kaya. This year, our members in the 800 to 899 point category are Jonathan Gallahan, Amelia Tabor, Abby Wolf, and Kira Stoffer. Congratulations! This year, we have one member in the 900 to 999 point category, and that is Keelan Stoffer. Congratulations! This year, we have two members in the over 1,000 point category, which is a very special accomplishment. These two young ladies competed in horsewell and hippology, participated in lots of the virtual clinics and meetings, and they deserve this special recognition. With 1,010 points and our high point junior for 2020, congrats Cheyenne Freeman. And our overall highest point earner and our high point intermediate with 1,185 points, congrats Desiree Freeman. At this time, we'd like to recognize some of our special award winners. These winners were announced at fair, but at our drive through pickup for banquet, they will be receiving their banners. Our trail mental attitude recipients this year were for junior, Jonathan Gallahan, intermediate, Lorelei Bosgard, and senior, Autumn Justice. Congrats. For our County Fair High Point winners, they will be receiving their banners at Banquet. We have a high point for each division each day. These winners were recognized on social media the day after the fair, but they will again be getting their banners at Banquet. Our Western Junior High Point was Madeline Armstrong, Intermediate Western High Point, Emma DeJong, and our Senior Western High Point was Zoe Hawkins. In our English division, our junior winner was Kira Bonney. Intermediate winner was Tessa McElroy. And our senior English high point winner was Zoe Hawkins. In our contesting division, our junior pony winner was Lydia Bowlinger. Intermediate pony winner was Skylar Parr. And senior pony high point was Desiree McCabe. In our contesting horse division, our junior winner was Xander Elliott. Intermediate winner was Becca Legan, and our senior winner was Libby Reibold.
After the fair, we take all of the points earned from each of your classes for Western English and Contesting and add them together. This leaves us with our three County Fair all-around high point winners. Those winners will be receiving a personalized belt buckle. So congratulations to our 2020 County Fair high point winners. Our junior winner is Addison Korn. Our intermediate high point winner is Eliza Sutton Kendall. And our senior County Fair high point winner is Zoe Hawkins. Congratulations. Each year we have a sportsmanship winner. This award is nominated by leaders, parents, and other club members all throughout the year and nominations are due at the end of fair. This year we had more nominations than we've ever had before and I really think that is something to celebrate in and of itself. So congratulations to all of our members for showing good sportsmanship, setting a good example for those around you, and being a positive influence for our club and other 4-H clubs in Johnson County. The leaders then vote on the nominations based on the number of nominations that person received and what was written about them. This year we have three extremely deserving scholarship recipients. These recipients will be receiving a personalized embroidered camp chair. Congratulations to our 2020 Junior Sportsmanship winner, Addison Korn. Our 2020 Intermediate Sportsmanship winner is Lorelei Bozgard. And our 2020 Senior Sportsmanship winner is Zoe Hawkins. Congratulations again to all three of you, and thank you for showing good sportsmanship and being a good influence on our club. Every year our club gives out the most improved award to a junior, intermediate, and senior recipient. Like the Sportsmanship Award, these awards are nominated by 4-H members, parents, and leaders and are due at the end of fair. We have three very deserving recipients this year that have grown immensely in their horsemanship skills this year and we'd like to congratulate all three of the winners. Our 2020 Most Improved Junior is Rebecca Dillon. Our 2020 Hoofprints Most Improved Intermediate winner is Abby Wolf. And our senior winner for 2020 is Morgan Hart. All three of you winners will be receiving personalized camp chairs. I hope you enjoy. Congratulations, girls, and keep working hard. Good evening, everyone. I'm here today to present the Johnson County Forge Hoof Prince Scholarship Award. This award was established to assist a last year Hoof Prince member in pursuing their college or post high school education. The award is based on scholastic ability, 4-H participation, leadership awards, and community service. And the amount of the scholarship this year is $500. And I'm proud to announce our 2020 winner, Scott Sledge. Good evening, and it's now time to present the Spirit of 4-H Award. This award is being given in memory of Steve Dixon, who passed away in May of 2016. Steve spent nine years on the fair board, six years as president of Valley Riders Saddle Club, and 12 years as a 4-H dad. During those years, he helped make many improvements to the fairgrounds, which benefit our horse and pony club to this day. He always thought horses deserved to be a part of the fair as much as any other animal and worked hard to make that happen over the years. This award will be given to a 4-H horse and pony member, but not limited to horse and pony activities. It could also include ambassadors, 
junior leaders, help during fair setup week and judging week, and everything and anything during fair week. It will be given to a 4-H'er who is always willing to help with anything that needs doing and is dedicated to make, make the best better. It's with great pleasure that I present this award to Scott Sledge. Congratulations. Thank you so much for tuning in to our virtual banquet this year. Don't forget, if you are interested in running for a 2021 Hoofprints Officer position, those applications are available online and are due by midnight on November 1st. After November 1st, anyone who turned one in will be getting a link to sign up for their virtual interview. Both the application and the interview must be completed to be eligible for the 2021 Officer Slate. Also, if you received any awards tonight, incentive point awards, banners, year of completion pins, please don't forget to come Sunday, October 25th to our drive through awards pickup at the fairgrounds. Check your email for more details. Have a great rest of 2020. Happy holidays. And we look forward to seeing you at our 4-H events in 2021.